All right, I'd like to show you now the paintbrush. And the paintbrush is, as you can see, using the fill color. So let me pick a different color here for the fill. And if I choose my paintbrush, uh, right now I've got a little tiny brush. And I can go very simply, this is going down below your screen, but I can get a larger brush at the bottom. And I can also get a circle, or if, I, if you could see this whole menu, there are some rectangles and diagonals. Very, very basic. Nothing, nothing nearly as fancy as Photoshop. Um, something very important about the paint brush, though, that I'd like to share with you. I'm going to pick a small brush to demonstrate this. This appears to be a line. Right. Notice we don't have the smoothing options that we had with the pencil. By comparison, I can draw a line. And initially you might think, well, there's really not much difference between these. But in fact, there are. I'm going to take the black arrow tool, and I'm going to modify my painted line, which is actually not a line at all. It's a shape. And I'm going to pull outward. This is. We'll come back to how you change shapes, but just to demonstrate the difference between a line and a shape. Command Z, I wanted that to stay there. Um, I'm going to pull this out. You get the idea. If I do that with a line, it remains a line. It never grows thicker. It doesn't have those the, um, the space in between. So again, in terms of memory, much more memory for the paintbrush line, if you will, versus the line. Moral of the story, when you need a line, use a tool that gives you an actual line. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the other things that the paintbrush can do. Obviously it uses the fill color. Uh, we're, we don't have many options over here. We do have some smoothing though, and that is similar to um, the three choices under the pencil tool. So I've just cranked up the smoothing here, and I'm going to get a bigger brush so we can see what's going on here and I'm going to paint something. So you see it, and when I let go, the smoothing occurs. Now, if I lower the smoothing, much like the pencil tool, it's going to remember every little lump and bump. Um, Flash does give you the option to smooth after the fact. So if I select, and again, this is the black arrow selection tool. So it's called the selection tool. I tend to call it the black arrow. Um, you'll notice down here I do have smoothing options. So this one is smooth, and if I keep clicking on it, it's going to keep changing the shape. What it's doing is reducing the number of points. And you can go, you can use that as an effect, or you can also go too far. So let's take this one that was not smoothed at all. Smooth, 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 smooth. Each click is smoothing it, and you can see that it, it has fewer and fewer points. Now, if you want to go straight, cut straight to the chase. The one below it is called the straighten tool. It doesn't mean that it straightens out the lines. It means that it reduces the number of points to the minimum amount that it can. 